Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create an interactive drop down menu within Figma. Now, there are quite a few steps, so my advice to you is to stick close, grab yourself your Figma design, and follow along. So, if you want an interactive drop down menu that looks a little bit something like this, of course, you can go ahead and follow these instructions. So the first thing you want to do is create a rectangle and you can customize it the way that you need it. So you're going to go over to the right hand side. You can change the corners, the width, the height, and then you're going to create some text. Now your text can say select option. Your text can pretty much say whatever you need it to say. The next thing you want to do is put the text inside the rectangle and we're going to go ahead now and use an icon and put it inside the rectangle as well. Now you can use some of the assets that are within Figma or you can use the resources tab and jump into the plugins and use one of the plugins to source your icon. Again, you just wanna make sure that you are customizing the icon as well as the text and the rectangle that you've created so that it's to your standards. The next thing you want to do is create another text box and here we will start to create our options. So we're going to just say option one and we can customize the color as well as the size and the font that we use. And then you want to right click and you want to go to auto layout. So we're going to add an auto layout to this text. What you want to do now is duplicate this so you can select it and then on your keyboard you can use Control c to copy and you want to use Control v to paste now once you paste it you can customize it again and this one now is going to look like when you hover your cursor over that particular option that is how you're going to design it so you can make it a different color you can make it a different font you can do what you need to do to make it look different to the rest of the options so you want to select both of these options. So it both says option one and that's fine. Just make sure you select both of them. And right at the top there is this icon and you're going to use this drop down menu and you're going to click on create component set. The next thing we want to do is make sure that it's selected and we're going to go over to the right hand side. Now you're currently on the design tab. We want to click on prototype and here we are going to start using some interactions so you want to click on the first one which is option one the one on the left and we are going to hover our cursor over the edges and you'll see a little plus icon once that has popped up you're going to click down on it and drag an arrow over to the second option one and this will create a connection or an interaction now once this drop down menu has opened you will choose from the top menu the while hovering option so while your cursor is hovering over this option this is what it will look like and as you go down you can see there is a change to you want to make sure that it's on change to now it could be on navigate to as by default but we want to make it change to you can see over here um, just underneath that you'll see property one and frame 19 that is just the relationship between them and then we can just customize how it actually animates. So you can choose from a list of these options and then you can also choose the intensity as well as the time frame. Now within the same method, we're going to select the second option one, which is the blue box. And we are going to connect a line from that one back to the first one. And here on the very top, you're gonna to click on mouse leave, which means when the mouse leaves this box or this block, then it'll look like the very first block. We want to also go and fully customize how it actually changes over and what it looks like. Now, if you go over to the left hand side and you'll see layers and assets, you want to click on assets and you want to go ahead and look for local components in the drop down menu. Now, from this drop down menu, you will then be able to choose the component that you just created, which is the component nine. Now, you can create a section and you can have the option one which is the component nine that we just created you want to drag it over into this test section so now we're going to drag over that component nine again we're going to put it in this section over here where we created the rectangle and just over here where it says select option we're going to start building this up to look like a drop down menu Again, we're going to fully customize this and make it look like the way we want it to. And this option one now, we want to go ahead and just copy and paste like we did before using Control C and Control V. 
As you can see over here, I have made this option one through to five. Of course, you can change this to whatever your needs are. I've also added a rectangle so that it looks more like a drop down menu. I'm going to now just take this component 14. I'm going to just copy it and I'm going to go over to the top again and I'm going to just say create component with this copy. And I'm going to select this over here on the right hand side, which is my full drop down menu, and I'm going to create component. Right, so what you want to do now is make sure that everything is selected. You want to go over to the right hand side and we're going to go to properties. We're going to add a property. And on the left hand side, you'll see now the first select option, which is component 16. We want to go and select prototype on the right hand side. And we are going to just make sure that it says on click and we're going to connect it to this component on the right hand side. So now when you click on the select option, the drop down menu will appear. You can now go ahead and turn your arrow upside down and on the very top select option on the right hand side, you are going to click on prototype again. And we are going to just connect this section to the one on the left and you want to make sure that it says on click and it's going to change to you can make double sure by seeing just underneath the change to it says property one and it has the component name now again if you go to the left hand side and you go to assets and your local components you will see your component 16 you want to just drag it into your test section and now we have a fully functional interactive drop down menu